with so many new AIs such as ChatGPT and others coming into the public and business domain right now, a lot of big management consultancies are going to face some serious trouble next year. A lot of the leverage is actually going to move back towards the customer. And this is probably going to mean that many of the big management consultancies across the world are going to be downsizing. So maybe there's some disruption coming in the consultancy space. But therein lies the opportunity for them to actually use some of these AIs to spin up their own boutique businesses. So let's get out of this Finnish forest and go see how ChatGPT and other AI tools can actually be used to help us spin up a new consultancy business. So maybe they're trying to help their clients figure out, say, the trajectories of certain technologies and way markets are moving and also trying to figure out the signal from the noise. Or maybe they're helping their customer figure out new types of revenue streams. They can see something's coming along that's going to affect their existing revenue business model. So they've got to go through some kind of radical reorganization. So these are a couple of examples of things that management consultancies all over the world might be getting up to in terms of helping out corporations and other types of organizations out with their restructuring. Okay, so say you are a consultant, you've just been released by a big consultancy organization that you've been working for for a long time, maybe you've been focused in the space of uh, uh, corporate restructuring, so you want to set up your own boutique business. So uh, here's a couple of ways that you could go about it. The first place to start may be in ChatGPT. So let's ask it to explain the main tasks involved in corporate restructuring first of all. Okay, and off it goes, giving us some of these um, areas that are look pretty generic and uh, probably mean a lot more to people in this field than it does to me, but it uh, looks like there's a lot of buzzwords there. Okay, so maybe what we wanted to do now is to help us uh, get past that blank piece of paper uh, situation and actually give us an idea for a new business plan. So let's uh, see what it has to offer. Okay, that looks vaguely sensible, but if we don't like what we see, we can also get it to regenerate another guess. So what this is not is a business plan or a business model, but what it is is a set of clues, a set of ideas that can help you actually move forward. And if you're in this space, you probably recognize a lot of these tasks and value propositions and things like that. So next steps. Okay, so we're setting up a new management consultancy business focused on corporate restructuring. We're going to want a website. We're going to offer some services on that website. So let's uh, ask ChatGPT to help us out with that. Okay, and again, if we don't like that or if we want to mix it up a little bit, we can ask it to regenerate and give us a few more ideas. So there we go, we've got some ideas for some services that we can offer on our website. Okay, so for our new management consultancy focused on corporate restructuring, for our website, we're gonna want some kind of uh, corporate looking website design. So we can go into Midjourney and we can ask it to design a background image for us. So let's see what it will come up with. Okay, so this is what's come up with. Let's take a look at some of these. Um, it'll look very generic, and um, I'm not sure I really like the look of those, so let's uh, give it another spin and uh, recycle it. Okay, let's take a look at these. So again, very generic. Uh, I'm not sure I'll take any of these. Maybe I'll pull out one of these and have a play around with it. But that's basically the Midjourney AI and um, you can use it for generating all kinds of interesting things. Uh, so let's move on.
Oh yeah, one other thing that we might want would be some fancy business marketing material. Maybe some nice video of lots of corporate people pointing and looking and uh, tapping away into spreadsheets and creating PowerPoints. Maybe something like this. So if you want to jazz up our website for our new boutique consultancy company focused on corporate restructuring, uh, and use graphics and music like that. What we can do is go into a platform like Motion Array. I like Motion Array, I use it a lot. Uh, and we can find the right kind of um, video for the effect that we want to communicate to our customers. So let's go in and let's take a look at some of these videos, video footage, and let's select um, corporate business and then see what's on offer. Okay, so and what we can do is we can actually go down here and sample some of the videos on offer. And this is one that I pulled out earlier in the last shot. And there's a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, this is the one with all the people pointing. Um, so this is pretty good and, and you can actually pull together some very nice clips and actually embed those in your website as well. Okay, so before we get to the website design, one thing we might want to do is create a standard deck which describes our services. Uh, and uh, I like to actually use this tone.app, which is this really cool AI, which allows you to actually describe the presentation that you want, and then it goes away and auto-generates something for you to actually play around with. So let's see how that works. And away it goes. Okay, so now what I've got here is uh, some suggested um, pages for my new consultancy focused on corporate restructuring. Um, I might not necessarily like it, it, but what it does do is it gives me some ideas to actually start from and it pulls in a whole bunch of different weird graphics, um, but it's a pretty interesting way of actually getting past this, this kind of writer's block problem where you're actually trying to create something new. So. Um, it's worth playing around with. What we've done is we've gone into ChatGPT. We've started by understanding exactly what it thinks uh, corporate restructuring is. And then we asked it to describe a um, potential business plan for a new boutique consultancy focused on corporate restructuring. Then we asked it to also suggest some services that this new consultancy could offer. And we iterated on that a couple of times. We used that regeneration uh, feature. We also went into Midjourney to see if there was some interesting graphics that we could create uh, using the AI for our website design. We also went into Motion Array to look for some video and music footage that we could actually uh, use for uh, background design. Uh, we went into Tome.app as well. Uh, we used that to auto generate an introduction presentation uh, that we could actually play around with and improve on. So we've been into a number of these AI tools that are proliferating across the world, affecting different industries, opening up new opportunities. And what we find is that in a very short space of time, we can actually create pretty good understanding of what our business could look like. So what we need to do is get a website up and running. I like to use Wix for that. I'm not gonna spend any time demoing that. So let's just cut to the chase. So what we can see here is that um, in a very short space of time, it's very easy to go from an initial idea of starting a business to actually restructuring some of these stores using these different tools. There's so much opportunity out there for spinning up new ideas and iterating on them. And of course, because of the natural language interface, it's so easy to use these tools. And of course, they're just gonna to continue to get better and better and impact more and more industries.